when you see nothing but flames and you're like, I don't yeah. know, your you're inner, this is why it's important to guard your mouth. Yeah. Yes. Because we never yes. once said, mm-hmm. well, there it goes. This is it. Fire. It's yeah. all over. Yeah. Fireballs. Come yeah, and you can see flame. What? Fire. 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 The fires burnt all around. <laughs> In between the lumber pile was aluminum drip edge that you put on your roof. Wow. It melted the drip edge, but didn't touch the wood. Right. The yeah. key is in faith, don't ever speak yeah. what yes. Yes. in the natural exactly. the enemy's trying to let you because believe. I- Well, dude, we're about to walk through this. You better run. Yeah, let's go. That video was taken right here in front of this cabin that's still standing untouched by the blazes. Wood around and nothing caught on fire, just a few smoldering embers. And if you see that video, you think there's no way anything on that mountain can be standing, but it's just a miracle. Mark, Hello, friends. It's a wonderful day in the Lord. Tom and I are still on the road. We've been traveling for a few weeks now. I think we have driven over 5,000 miles by now. So it's been very fast paced, but so many glorious, incredible things have happened, including the fact that we had a chance to visit our friends, Mark and Debbie Searcy in Tennessee. And we love this couple. They're so sweet and humble and they are extremely spirit-filled and live a very supernatural life. (laughs) So every time we see each other, we have all these testimonies to share, and it's very exciting. Recently, they had an astounding testimony, and it really speaks of God's favor and protection in the darkest of times. Several weeks ago, very recently, there were fires in Sevier County, and the fires were so intense. You can actually find videos of the woods blazing with fire and these fireballs being released in the air. It was so dangerous, and over 200 structures were burnt down. But Mark and Debbie are very much spirit-filled. They're very supernatural. They believe in miracles, and they have a strong awareness of their authority in Christ. And do you know that this event actually caused them to experience an increase in their faith? While the fires are blazing before their eyes, the Lord at the same time stirs up the fires from within so that they could rise in faith and overcome and claim the victory. They stayed and they stood on the word and they declared protection. When it was said that the wind was bringing in the fires, they actually spoke against this and said that the winds would take away and lead the fires away. And their cabins were kept safe and also their lumber which is very valuable was protected as well their testimony is so amazing that the news interviewed them they wrote an article about them it was so clear that something not only unusual but something miraculous had indeed occurred the lord truly is our refuge and strength our ever present help in trouble in psalm 32 7 the word says he is our hiding place he will protect us from trouble and surround us with songs of deliverance i pray that this testimony stirs you to have outrageous faith because even when the world seems dark and all around you are in despair we know that when we belong to the Lord and we wield the authority he gives us, all things are possible. There are absolutely no limitations in him. And he makes us thrive even amidst tragedy so that we can be overcomers and gain a powerful victory in Christ. (laughs) (laughs) Tell us about the miracles that happened in March when the fires were blazing here and how the Lord protected you. I'll start and talk about uh, Wednesday. 
Yeah. Uh, we started getting fires in the area. So yeah. We watched the fires and then we came home and they were getting bigger and bigger. They shut off all the electric everywhere where there was risk of fires. So the development where we have rental cabins, um, all oh. the electricity was shut off. And, but on our one cabin, the, we had a generator. So our ring video still worked. Starting around six o'clock, we watched the fires come around the side of the cabin. We just prayed. Then we saw the all in front of the cabin totally go up. The woods, everything totally went up wow. in front of the cabin. Just all you saw was fires. Oh and before that, we could see our daughter's cabin across the road, yeah. the way. Um, there's like quite a bit of woods and then you could see her cabin. So we'd get on the phone. Holly, your cabin's okay. And then that <laughs> blaze of fire went through. Mm -hmm. And it is so cool because when you need a gift of faith, God will give you a gift of faith. Amen. Because Amen. the worse those fires that got, the stronger our faith yes. got. Wow. And we just were, and it just, something came over us. Yeah. And we were like, God, you are almighty God. Nothing is impossible with right. you. Wow. And we just stood and declared and prayed and thanked the Lord. And it's so funny because I had just read in my Bible, Ephesians, where you pray with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. And, and uh, supplication. Yeah. And I had looked up that word supplication two days before. And I was like, supplication. Mm. I'm a second grade teacher and we never taught that word. <laughs> <laughs> Placing a request to the Lord, right? Yeah, it just means for fervency and ah. you don't give up. And um, so that's what we did. We did not give up and we thanked the Lord. Well, the fires in the woods subsided and we called Holly. Holly, your hot cabin is still standing. Wow. All the cabins were still standing. Firemen coming up on our <clears throat> porch. The one thing I'll say before I turn it over to Mark, sometimes people think that that little voice they hear might just be them and they like ignore it yeah. or something like that. And they don't think God speaks to them, mm. but God does speak to you yes. in ways you might not even recognize. You just think it's yourself. But there was a huge uh, stack of wood. They had cleared a bunch of lots and there were huge stacks of wood, probably like 10 feet high. At least. But, and it was just huge. And it was halfway in the road to the yeah. cabin where we were watching the fires from. Mm. They've been there for like a year from another builder. Well, about two weeks before that, two weeks before the fires hit, I walked out of our cabin and I looked at that fire and all of a sudden I didn't actually have a vision of it but in my mind I just saw it blazing wow. and I told Mark I said we've got you've got to get that builder to get that wood out of that those yeah. trees and they were dead just uh, leaves and I said you got to get him out of there uh, have him get him out of there well Mark had been God had kind of been prompting him too so mm. that gave him confirmation and to my husband's credit, he had that man get those that wood out of there in like a couple of days. Praise the Lord. Now here's a secret. And it would have burned up. If that pile it, had have been yes. there, so the firemen wouldn't have been able to get down to our cul-de-sac. Wow. Wow. And during the fires, while the video was on, the firemen would come to our front door. And I, we were talking, having a conversation, like, how's it looking back there? And they're like, oh. Said, well, said the fire's coming up to the back of your house. We just lost one cabin in the cul de sac, and then <sighs> we're praying more, and then you're seeing the flames. And then they come back a little bit later and they say, uh, the fire right now is all the way up to the back of your house. <sighs> and he said, it's actually blowing against itself. It's blowing away. Against itself. Against. And during the time praying, she was praying Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right. Yeah, and I was like, why did I pray that? Yeah. And wow. that was, that didn't burn up it didn't the fire. even touch. The fires didn't so, touch didn't you, just touch. like with Shadrach, Meshach, yes. and Abednego. And but, then the fires, the firemen said after the they came back later, and we were watch, talking to them about four in the morning, watching this whole thing play out. And we're like, oh my goodness! And then when you see nothing but flames, and you're like, I don't yeah. know, your your inner 
this is why it's important to guard your mouth. Yes. Yeah. Because we never yes. once said, mm -hmm. well, there it goes. This is it. Right. It's yes. all over. Yes. Even though your eye wants to say yeah, that yeah. and then everything you're seeing and listening yes. to is saying, they just said, we lost another cabin. Right. And right now, it's like five minutes later, you would have lost your cabin and that cabin next door. And we saw mm. the fireballs come Yeah, and you could see flames. Fire, 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 <laughs> bursting like lava in the driveway. Oh my gosh, that's, that's how close it was. The so, devil yeah, tried to burn down <laughs> your work. But, but, the whole fire was to burn down your work. But the key but is, I turned, I turned the tables. All turned the tables on the yeah. devil. The key yeah. is in faith. Don't ever speak. Yeah. What? Yes. In the natural, exactly. the enemy's trying to let you because believe. that opens a door right. for right. the enemy to operate. Right. And you don't right. want to give that. Yeah. And what's neat is when that Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego is like. What? I was like, oh yeah, God can can yes. uh, protect our our cabins from and the they, fiercest of fires, and they not even come out smelling like smoke. Right. And wow. we didn't have any right. smoke smell, yeah. just a Amazing. tiny bit in one of the cabin basements. Amazing. But That's but incredible. also the power of agreement in prayer, mm -hmm. because we found out that another cabin owner had been praying that same mm -hmm. thing yes. about the cabins would stand. Wow. Yeah. And then another um, thing. Um, so, though it was very windy. Yes, you yeah. were saying this, Sharon, you gotta wins. share this. And I was <laughs> like, I command you, I command the winds wow. to, to die down in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I just knew that would happen. Well, it never happened and I got mad. I was like, all right, okay, devil, you can play that way. I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna declare that the, the fire's the wind fights against yeah. the fire. Yes, you turn it around. <laughs> and my daughter prayed the same. Yeah. Our daughter yeah. prayed the same thing. Wow. And the yeah. fireman said the the fire came all the way to our to our the grass at our cabin. Yeah. And yeah. they said, but it's the fire's fighting its against itself because it's blowing back against wow. us. Wow. Wow. So it was a wind from God, really. Yeah. So that you would yeah. pray that prayer. Yeah. That's supernatural. Yeah. It's going against itself. So yeah. that's the yeah. Lord. And you said also the lumber, the yeah. good lumber didn't get damaged. No. And another cat, oh, we were building several in that neighborhood. Yeah. One cabin did not have windows or doors in. It was just plywood. Yeah. There were lumber piles out front. Yeah. And the fires burnt all around. <laughs> In between the lumber pile was aluminum drip edge that you put on your roof. Wow. It melted the drip edge, but didn't but touch didn't the touch wood. <gasps> yeah. And that's your livelihood. That's expensive, yeah. valuable. Yeah. Yeah. And right. then another cabin, it burnt the pile of a trash lumber 10 feet away from the cabin. Yeah. Didn't touch the cabin. And on the other side of that, that pile was probably 25 feet long and maybe 12, 15 feet wide. Yeah, it's a big it fire. burnt that completely up 10 feet away from the cabin. Right. But on the other side was lumber. It didn't touch the lumber. Oh, yeah. my God. Only the trash, the scrap. Right. That's amazing. <gasps> yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. Every fireman, amazing. Every fireman that came up for five days, we still had residual yeah, fires. Yeah, they keep coming up. up and, every fireman down. came up and said, this is just divine. Right. Inter intervention that there's anything left up here. The Amazing. firemen know. Absolutely. They know that this yeah. doesn't happen. Right. Yeah. The right. neighborhood next door lost 54 cabins right adjacent Whoa. to ours. Right behind and then cabin. on the other side of ours, there were numerous cabins lost. We lost two in a Out whole of 27 neighborhood. 27 cabins. Wow. Yeah. Oh, and so. it's only because you serve the Lord, you love the Lord, everything you do is dedicated to the Lord. Even the log homes you build, you've got scripture in the walls, in the mm -hmm. construction. Mm -hmm. During all this, when we were watching the fires, um, you know, God, it was a miracle how we ended up here. And God provided a way for Mark to retire. He's worked <laughs> hard and, you know, and I Prospered thought... Him. I, I was praying because I was like, God, I, you know, we Mark's worked so hard to build these to be able to retire, and yes. he doesn't want to build back mm -hmm. a second time right. when it took so much time and effort to build yeah. the first time, and yeah. and then I thought, you know what, God, it was a miracle that we ended up here. If everything burns down, that's not God's only plan. Yeah. He can <laughs> he can supernaturally bless us another way. And also our girls and like I just
started praying for such a miracle yes. that everybody would know it was a God thing because I got to brag on board. Yeah. <laughs> he is, he's known as ma the mayor of Walden's Ridge, but he, Everybody loves him. he, he's so, <laughs> yes, he just shines the light of Jesus everywhere right. with his humor yeah. and his love right. for the local people. Yes. And he's always praying for people. Right. Um, and you get so you see so many miracles. Yes, yeah. and uh, people he'll drive by, and a subcontractor will pop out of the hole and say, "Hey, pastor, pastor, <laughs> that, do you have a minute?" And he'll spend an hour, wow. you know, with people ministering. Wow. And he's seen blind uh, wow. blind eyes opened, mm -hmm. and so people know. And he's the president of Walden's Ridge, so people know what what who. Right. What God going on there is is this. represented on that wow, now. Amazing. Yes, and, and most of all, heaven recognizes yeah. you and it's given that authority. You know, recognize that you're Incredible. using His authority and blessing this land. Yeah. Amen. So I was like, God, just do such a miracle. Amen. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yes. Wow. What an incredible testimony. Praise God. That's so incredible. Like, you can Nearly 2,500 acres were burned. That's outlined in the blue on this map right there on your screen with 219 buildings being impacted. Now, one of those communities inside the burn zone is Walden's Creek. When the president of that gated community had to evacuate and saw the impact of the fires, he was sure the whole community had been wiped out. But only a few homes were burnt. He tells our Veronica Obey just how lucky he and other homeowners got after seeing the intense blaze cut through that area. This video shows just exactly what firefighters were dealing with when flames swept through Sevier County mountains. That video was taken right here in front of this cabin that's still standing untouched by the blazes. Wood around and nothing caught on fire, just a few smoldering embers. And if you see that video, you think there's no way anything on that mountain can be standing. But it's just a miracle. Mark Searcy is the president of Walden's Ridge, and he has built many of the cabins within the neighborhood. He was working on this cabin and is still in awe. Firefighters were just in the neighborhood yesterday, making sure there were no hot spots. Even they were shocked at the outcome. Every firefighter that's been up here in the last six days have said it's nothing but divine intervention that we still have any cabins up here. And this unfinished cabin isn't the only one that avoided the flames. Every cabin except two survived the wildfire. Searcy remembers the moments right before evacuating and getting visitors and residents out. We knocked on all the doors and people from out of town are, are obviously not used to that. So they're leaving some reluctantly and a lot of them just left everything they had and ran out. Now seeing mostly everything making it through the fire, Searcy says it has brought a new sense of community to the area. You really find the good in people when things like this happen and how generous people are and wanting to help out and reach out. It's that attitude many have that will help make this cleanup a little easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear of a miraculous testimony of yours. Love you. Shalom. I'll see you next time. Bye.